Now, WMAR 2 News at 11. And thank you for joining us. I'm Jamie Costello. Tonight, is there a connection between COVID and your heart failing? Because the state is seeing more people die from cardiac arrest in 2020 compared to 2019. What's also concerning is since November, about 20% of them tested positive for the virus. WMAR 2 News' Ray Strickland joins us live right now in downtown Baltimore. And Ray, this is suggesting that many of us are ignoring important symptoms. Yes, Jamie, the symptoms we're talking about here include shortness of breath and chest pains. The numbers you just shared suggest people with those symptoms possibly haven't been going to the doctor as much throughout the pandemic. And that means, unfortunately, more people are waiting until it's too late. And they're waiting too long. Dr. Ted Delbridge works with the Maryland Institute for Emergency Medical Service Systems. It's a state agency that tracks the number of cardiac arrests in Maryland. We're seeing more cardiac arrests and less success at resuscitating people. Dr. Delbridge says more people died from cardiac arrests in 2020 than they did in 2019. And he says an increasing number of them aren't even making it to the hospital. The reason we're experiencing more out of hospital cardiac arrests is that people are ignoring important symptoms. He says the state's started collecting nasal samples from out-of-hospital cardiac arrest patients last July. And over the last two months, about 20% came back positive for COVID-19. But he says the connection is still unclear. It's difficult to know whether uh, people are having out-of-hospital cardiac arrest because they have underlying heart disease and are not seeking care uh, because they have underlying heart disease and COVID-19 precipitates uh, part of their uh, heart difficulties or whether COVID-19 is, is uh, a large contributing factor. Dr. Delbert says people need to think about seeing a doctor if they experience shortness of breath or chest pains. He says the longer people wait can sometimes come down to a matter of life or death. When they have those things, they need to seek care quickly, uh, promptly, not defer care because it's causing them to have a problem that can't be corrected. And Dr. Delbridge says what's also unclear is if people actually knew they had COVID-19. Another reason why he says people need to stay on top of their health. Live in downtown Baltimore, Ray Strickland, WMAR 2 News. All right, Ray, 